You know, I've been sculpting for almost 20 years, and, and these guys have been my foundry since day one. And uh, I've bounced around a little bit, but uh, it's just, I just always come back here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not looking to, to leave art castings. I, I, I tell Tony every once in a while that, you know, after uh, 22 years, I think I found kind of a home. Well, I've been sculpting for the last 40 years. I started when I was 18 years old at, uh, in college and started doing bronze casting at that time when not many people were doing bronze casting. And it's just been a great experience working with our castings because they're absolutely the best, I think, in the country. It shouldn't be surprising that Art Castings of Colorado has loyal clients all over the world. They've been casting exceptional bronze artwork since 1972 and have assisted countless artists in creating some of the most notable sculptures in existence today. Their highly talented full-time staff of over 40 employees have worked with art castings for an average of over 10 years, an accomplishment that is simply unheard of in the foundry industry and a clear indication that they take tremendous pride in delivering the type of consistent quality that sculptors expect. It's important anytime you're thinking about going to a new foundry, whether it's ours or anybody else's, that you go visit and first impressions are key. If you feel comfortable, if you feel that it's a professional place to work, if you look at work and you think, hey, these guys know what they're doing, then uh, I would try to make it my home. I started out as a wood carver, and then when I, I worked as a metal chaser for 17 years before going into the office, and so I'm very familiar with the shop and, and what it takes to uh, produce a piece. As with many bronze foundries, Art Castings uses the lost wax process for casting. But most of their clients will tell you that there are many things that clearly set them apart from the competition. From the moment a clay, wax, or stone original is entrusted to art castings, the artist can be assured that it will be in safe and extremely capable hands. Special attention to detail begins with mold making, utilizing only the best talent and the highest quality materials in successfully capturing even the smallest detail included in the original piece. Many of the art casting staff are accomplished artists in their own right, and they take personal ownership of every piece that comes through their department. But sculptors are always welcome to check the progress of their piece at any stage of the casting process. Most of them we interact with. There's a lot of them we interact with once, and then after that they know we can do our job, and they'll just leave us alone to do, you know, to do our job, and they won't check up on us, because our product in the end is always perfect. So, because we rock. <laughs> Once the artist has approved the wax positive, either in person or through digital photos provided to them by art castings, sprues and gates are carefully attached to the piece to ensure proper flow of the molten metal to the ceramic shell. Up to a dozen layers of ceramic are applied to the wax positive to make certain every detail will be properly captured during the metal pour. After the ceramic has hardened and cured, the shell is heated and the wax is melted or lost from the shell. Following the de-waxing and cooling, each shell is heated to 1600 degrees so that the 2000 degree molten bronze will flow easily and evenly throughout the shell. Art Castings pours bronze most every day and averages over 175 tons of bronze poured each year, easily making them one of the most preferred art foundries in North America. Every speck of the ceramic shell must then be painstakingly removed from all sections of the bronze before any necessary welding can take place. No matter what level of welding is required, the Art Castings welders take special care in making certain that every piece is handcrafted to the exact size and proportions of the original. We'll have photos of the original in clay, and when we go to put the piece together, if you have to put a leg on, um, you know, you just want to make sure that the piece won't be leaning one way or the other forward or back, look like it's falling over. So it has to be, you know, just perfect. It has to be right. The process of metal chasing, or grinding and chasing the welds into the bronze body, is critical to the success of the piece. Matching the exact texture and finish of the original piece definitely requires an artist's eye and patience. I can tell an artist by uh, two-inch section of their texture. I pretty much know exactly who it is. You know, a lot of the employees here have worked um, at least 10 years, you know, so some of the artists 
Um, they request a certain employee to work on their piece because they worked with them before and they know exactly what they want so the employee knows what to do with their, their piece when they get it here and they don't even have to worry about it. Patina is the last and what many artists consider the most important step of the casting process because it is vital to the visual impact and personality of the piece. Art Castings works closely with the artist to determine the best patina choice and to make sure that the final piece is exactly what the artist requires. Some patinas will be tailor-made for a smooth type surface. Some of them are made for a textured surface. We have probably, oh, I'd say about 70 different sample plates, plates up there that you can pick from that is just, you know, kind of basic ideas. But we can go any range in between those too. With an unmatched staff and facility, a commitment to excellence every step of the way, and the ability to safely ship your piece anywhere in the world, Art Castings of Colorado should be the clear choice for your next casting. You know, I spent hours in the studio adjusting very fine things like the attitude, should it be a little like that, or a little like that, or, and it's very refined and very detailed, and very important and, uh, and they give me that back. Exactly what I had when I left the studio is what they gave, give me. Very important. When I bring a piece in, whatever date they tell me it's going to be done, it will be done there. But the quality of people they have, I, I, to me, puts them on top. I can't imagine what other uh, uh, feature a person could possibly ask for. You get a little bit crazied up when you watch the mold maker start chopping your piece into different pieces and starting to mold those pieces because you're wondering, how can these people know how to put this object back together that I was so genius in making? Well, these guys are so good at what they do. When they put that piece back together, you won't even see where that piece was cut up. And when they're finished with it, I'll guarantee you that you'll be happy with that piece because these guys I think are the best guys in the industry and there's nobody better.